Hello, thank you for having me here. I want to tell you what happened to me after I started to investigate pro-Kremlin troll factories and aggressive and anonymous social media and internet profiles influence on the Finnish freedom of speech and public debate. I started my investigations already over two years ago and Immediately after the first article, I was made a target of international, very aggressive disinformation and defamation campaign. Over 10 Russian language websites, fake news sites, started to spread rumors about me working in cooperation with NATO being a famous assistant of several Baltic and American special services, so framing me as an agent, not a journalist, accusing me and hinting that I would have been committed serial uh, crimes with my uh, one article. Also, alongside with this fake news about me, they published my contact information. I started receiving disturbing phone calls, text messages, and also emails from people and trolls who had believed in lies which were spread about me. That's the problem of disinformation. It affects your thoughts, your ideas, your attitudes and actions, and it can be used in agitating people to act even really violently against other people. For example, I received phone call from Ukrainian number in which there was only sound of firing gun. Also, I received so many uh, disgraceful, uh, brutal uh, emails and ongoing during several months um, Twitter and Facebook comments, just pure hate speech about me. In the beginning, so this is still uh, September 2014, troll activists and Kremlin propagandists also built up a new Facebook group just to harass me, make hate speech, make threats, wish for me dying, for example, of uranium poisoning, wish for a nuclear attack for my newsroom and blame me of the Ukrainian bloodshed. And of course, spread pro-Kremlin propaganda news. At the same time, someone orchestrated on social media a complaints campaign against my employer, the Finnish Broadcasting Company. In the complaint, again, sent to the parliamentary ombudsman, it was claimed that Wiley had committed crimes with one article. Well, I still continued my investigations. I went to visit the St. Petersburg troll factory with my great colleague. We revealed many of their secrets and made articles also in English language. Also, this obviously made the trolls and their bosses really angry. After I published my articles about how trolls are terrorizing Finnish public debate and thus influencing Finnish people's minds and actions, I really started to pay a heavy price. For example, uh, last January, so, already over half a year after my articles, troll activists make music smearing me, make YouTube video and videos in which I'm presented again as some NATO extremist uh, who only has imagined the whole phenomenon of Kremlin trolls. Also, I have received a text message from a person who pretended to be my 20 years dead father. The person told me he was observing me. Also, my private life has been under investigations in other ways too. Uh, for example, last February, uh, troll activists 
dig out from old court files that I had received 300 euro fine for drug use when I was very young. And they made it into horrible hate speech, fake news, claiming that I use drugs, I have brain damage. That's why my troll articles are so crazy. And that I'm also a NATO drug dealer. The problem with all this is that really some people believe in this. Oh, and by the way, my harassment doesn't only restrict in virtual and cyber space. About one month ago, Finnish police, who has started investigations on the topic because there are Finnish citizens involved, told publicly that they suspect that someone from inside my own company, the Finnish broadcasting company, would have assisted in stalking me by providing information about my location and my job assignments to the person doing the most of the stalking campaign against me. So, this is what we are uh, having in Finland, but not just there, it's happening in other countries as well, and that's what I'm investigating at the moment for my book uh, about Russian information warfare. But happy news is that in Finland there are uh, serious development of society happened because of the trolls and propaganda spreaders and a uh, Finnish audience really doesn't like these kinds of brutal disgusting filth operations and I receive much more love and support messages from the big audience. That's very good news. Thank you. Let's clap for that. <laughs>